Hi everyone, Claire here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are jumping into a full body beginner Pilates class. Now there is no additional equipment needed for this workout. All you need is a comfy mat or a soft surface and of course yourselves. So if you've got that mat, roll it out and I'll see you there. So let's begin in a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like for you. I'm sitting with my butt cheeks on my heels, but if you like, you can also sit cross-legged or legs in front. Let's first take a deep breath to the top, inhale, and then exhale, release it all out. Let's go again, inhale, exhale, one more here, big inhale. And we're gonna interlace our fingers and press the ceiling away. Oh, release that, let's interlace our fingers behind our back and press our chest up to the sky. And release. We're gonna go for a side bend here. So reaching one arm down and top arm comes over and tumbling over to the other side. Let's go one more each side. Beautiful, from here, opposite arm's gonna reach to the opposite side of your body or leg, and other hand's gonna come behind you and you're gonna just rotate. Back to center, let's do it on the other side. Hands are gonna come in front of you. You're gonna press your chest up to the sky and then exhale, curving backwards. Inhale, press up. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Let's interlace our fingers behind our head and let our elbows drop forward with our chin tucking to our chest. Release your hands and gazing up to the sky. Back to center, let's pop one arm over onto our opposite side of our head and tilt the head to the side. Thinking about pressing that shoulder away. And then we're gonna gaze down towards the side body, towards our armpit. Release the arm and come through center. Lifting back up, we'll repeat that on the other side. Pressing that opposite shoulder down and away and gazing down. Release that, back to center and up. Awesome. Let's go for some arm movement here first. So inhale, arms are gonna lift to shoulder height. Exhale, they tap to the floor. Inhale, exhale. Nice and controlled here. Good, four, three, two. Now keep your arms lifted here, little circles of the arms forward. Four, three, two. Reverse that circle backwards. When we're doing this, we're thinking about keeping our core engaged. Two more. Beautiful, palms are gonna face the ceiling. Let's do that again forwards for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reverse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Ooh, now we're gonna curve the arms. So we're gonna curve and then switch. What I'm doing is I'm flipping my palms and I'm really rotating in my shoulders. It's very dancey. We've got eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Bring palms back to the sky. We're gonna bend them in and out. Go for four, three, two, one. We're gonna go for a press now. So we press overhead and squeeze. Over and squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Now final bit here. Hands come together over the top of our head. We're gonna squeeze, release. Eight more for eight, seven, six. Try to get those elbows to touch. Three, two, and one. Oh, give it a little shake. Beautiful. Let's send our hips to the side and we're gonna have our legs in front now. Coming to the top of your mats. Let's just go for a little bit of a cat cow in this position. My hands are just coming underneath my thighs. So, exhale, we're gonna curve backwards. And then inhale, arching upwards. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Last one. Beautiful. Let's go into some C curves now. So with your C curves today, know that you can have your hands underneath your thighs for some support or of course over the tops of your knees. But the hardest version is of course reaching those arms long. So we can start here, inhale. Exhale, curving through your lower back, similar to what we just did with our cat cow. And then inhale, lifting up, nice tall spine. Exhale, backwards. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Beautiful, let's keep that going. If you want, reach those arms long. Really drawing that belly button in, keeping that connection to your core. Let's go three more here. Last one. And give yourself a little bit of a rest. So stretching forwards, knees go wide. And coming back up. Okay, this time we're gonna do a little bit of a combo. So arms reach long underneath your thighs. We're gonna go for three pulses at the bottom. So we go three, two, one, and lift up. So it's an exhale, two, one, and up. Nice, exhale. And up, so it's three of the exhale. Remember your hands are here to support you if you need. Let's go one more. And up. Nice, if you need a little break, send those knees wide and stretch forward again. This time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to this halfway point, reaching my arms long. We're gonna go for a little row twist and reach other side. Now, if you need assistance, you've got your, under, your hands that they can reach underneath your thighs for some support there as well. Let's go four more, four, three, 
two, last one. Nice, reach those legs long and reach over those legs for a little release here. Rolling back up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our right knee to our chest or as high as we can. So foot's flat on the floor. From here, we're gonna curve through the spine one vertebra at a time. We're gonna lower all the way down to the mat. Drawing that knee into your chest. Take a deep breath here, inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna rotate that leg across the body for a little spinal twist here. Back to center. And then we're gonna press our hands into our knee. And we're gonna press the knee, 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 push, 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 curving up through the spine and extending that leg long. Switching sides and pulling that leg up. We're gonna curve down through the spine one vertebra at a time. Knee comes all the way into your chest, inhale. Exhale, spinal twist. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, pressing all the way up. Let's go again. So coming all the way down, slow and controlled. Inhale. Exhale, curve. Inhale, back to center. Tuck the chin, pressing through and up, other side. Inhale here. Exhale, inhale, exhale, curve, inhale, center, pressing and up. We're going to continue but without the spinal twist this time. So all the way down, pressing through that leg all the way up, other side. All the way down, press all the way up. One more each leg, you've got this. Last one here. Beautiful. So this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to keep our legs straight this time without support. So inhale here, exhale, curving through the spine, one vertebra at a time, all the way down. Hands are gonna swoop overhead. Inhale, hands to shoulder height. Exhale, tuck your chin and lifting up, reaching over those legs. Inhale, lifting back up. Exhale, curving through that spine all the way down, inhale, exhale, and last one here, we'll stay on our backs, inhale, exhale, down, swoop those arms beside you and readjust yourself so you're in a comfortable position here. Let's interlace our fingers behind our head and we're gonna go for a few little crunches here. So inhale, exhale, you're gonna crunch up and you're gonna gaze just above those knees and then you're gonna come back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now, as we're doing this, we wanna keep our chin so it's about a fist distance from our chest when we crunch up we don't want to crunch so high that our chin touches our chest we also really want to focus on keeping those elbows wide your hands are cradling your head so all the movement should be coming from your core so exhale draw your belly button in get those abdominals firing Two more here. Last one. Now, if at any time you need to rest, hug those knees into your chest. 
placing those feet back on the ground, hands come back behind your head. Now we're gonna go for a diagonal crunch now. So opposite elbow is gonna reach to opposite knee. As I do this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna come to tabletop. So exhale, I twist towards that leg and back down other side. Exhale, twist and down. I get my elbow to touch my knee. Let's go four more. Three. Two. And one. Have a rest if you need. Our next move that we're gonna do, we're going to come back up into this diagonal crunch, stretch the leg long, bend it back in, come back down. Other side, so we're gonna crunch, stretch, bend and tap. Ready to join, so we crunch, stretch, there and down. Nice. So the challenge here is we're trying to keep our body lifted in that position as the leg moves. Exhale. Inhale. One more each side. Last one here. Nice. You can have a rest again if you need. Hug those knees into your chest. So our next move that we're going to do, we're going to bring our legs up into a tabletop position. As we do this, I want you to keep your lower back pressing into the ground. So we're creating that imprint of the spine. We're going to lift them up into a tabletop position. And we're gonna go for some toe taps here. So inhale, tap down, exhale back to center. Inhale as it taps, exhale back to center. Now, as we are doing this, what I don't want you to do is let your heel drop and then tap to the floor. You wanna move the whole leg and keep that shape back to center. That is where the challenge is. Whilst we're doing this, we're very conscious of our lower back staying imprinted into the ground. This is going to help make sure that we're keeping our core drawing in and nice and tight. We've got four more, four, three, two, one. Hug them in. Looking good, people. So we have one more move here. We're going to get our legs as straight as we possibly can and point them up to the sky. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to think about the legs pointing straight up to the sky. Now, they may not lift very high off the ground and that is completely fine. It is working your lower abdominals and it's a little bit of a tuck. So, we exhale to press our legs up and there. Tiniest move, exhale. But my goodness, it works your lower core. Think about exhaling as you press it up. Okay, we have four more. Four, 
three, two, last one. Okay, that is done. Place your feet onto the ground, send your hips to one side, and we're gonna come into a little bit of a side flying series. So, with your side lying series, knees are gonna come up in front, heels are gonna stay in line with your butt cheek. Now, if you like, you can have your head nice and long and flat here, or you can have your hand under your head. We also wanna think about keeping a nice little gap between our side body and the floor there. So we're trying to keep that core engaged as we do so. My hand is here to support me. Let's just start with some really nice and easy clams. So we're just gonna open and close. Now, as we're doing this, really think about keeping those hips pointing straight forwards. So I don't want you to feel like you're rocking backwards onto your hip. We really wanna keep them um, pointing forwards so that as your knee opens, we're really engaging those butt cheeks as much as we can. Let's go four more. Three, two, and one. Let's keep the leg open, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down. This time lift the whole leg up and lower. Good, knee stays pointing forwards for four, three, Two, one, keep it lifted here, pulsed up for eight, seven, six, five, my booty's on fire, already, two, one. Now this is gonna be fun, we're gonna stretch the leg forward, tap, lift, and bend. Stretch, tap, lift, and bend, good. This is quite challenging. So just as far forward in front as you can. Oh my goodness. Last one here. Good, we're gonna go for our stretch and bend now. The leg comes in line with my body when I extend it. Four, three, two. Now keep it extended here, circle it forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reverse that circle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you, Booty, for getting me through that. Now, of course, we get to send ourselves to the other side. So gracefully make your way onto the other side. I say gracefully <laughs> as best as you can. <laughs> and come on into this position. So knees are in front, heels are close to your butt cheek, hand can be under your head or of course long and you've got your hand in front to support you. High beams are on, hips pointing straight forwards. Let's go for our clams. Opening and closing. Keeping those hips pointing forwards. Remember, we don't rock on that hip. Squeeze that booty to create that action. We love it. This is the Pilates burn that we all love slash hate. Four to go, four, three, two, and one. Let's go for some pulses here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna lift that whole leg up and down. Try to keep that core engaged. Four to go, four, three, 
to go one keep it lifted pulse it up for eight seven six five four three two you ready for that tricky one we stretch tap lift and bend this one is hard so if your leg only extends here so fine just wherever you can get it as far in front as you possibly can we've got two more mm -hmm. last one beautiful we bend and stretch the leg remember in line with your body here go for four three Two, one, keep it extended, circle forward for eight, seven, six, tummy tight, four, three, two, reverse it, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you. That is all done. Let me take you through a quick stretch now. Nice and easy. So send your hips back and we're gonna go into a child pose. So knees are wide, toes to touch and walk those hand and hands as far forward as you can. Nice deep breaths here. And let's crawl our hands to one side, stretching out the side body. Scooching over to the other side. And back to center. Coming up onto all fours. Let's go for a cat cow. Inhale, belly drops, gazing to the sky. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, drop. Last one here. Finding that neutral spine. Let's bring one of our knees forward and to the ground. We're gonna come into a nice little stretch here. So you can stay in this position or you can come onto your elbows or reach those arms nice and long. Wherever feels comfortable for you. Pressing yourself up, rotating to the front. Let's go for a side stretch here. This also does stretch your inner thigh. So reaching over. And coming back up. Let's bend that leg behind us now for a little bit of a lazy hip flexor stretch. And thinking about pressing this hip up towards the sky, squeezing my butt cheek to create that action to get as much of a stretch through the front of my leg as possible. So through that quad there. And pressing yourself up. Okay, so we're going to get this leg now as the top leg into this position. Coming back down. Nice deep breaths when we're doing this movement. Rotate to the front. Let's go for that side stretch. Yeah, and coming back up, 
Let's bend that foot behind us. And coming down to wherever feels comfortable for you. Thinking about that hip going up towards the sky. Feeling that stretch through the front of the leg. And coming back up. We're gonna go for both legs straight in front of us and we're gonna go for a hamstring stretch. So arms reach up overhead, inhale, exhale. We're gonna try and keep a flat back and then we'll release into a stretch. And rolling up, let's bend our right leg, step it over the top, wrapping the opposite arm around and twisting towards that leg. Gazing behind you, big exhale, sitting up nice and tall. On your next exhale, come back to the front, straighten that leg and switch sides, stepping it over, wrapping the opposite arm over and twisting. Big inhales and exhales. And releasing that. Coming to the front. Comfortable seated position. Finishing the class right. Let's go for a side bend one way. Tumbling over to the other. Take a deep breath to the top, join the hands. Into heart center, exhale. And give yourself a clap. Well done, you made it to the end of that workout. Thank you so much for joining me this week for that full body beginner Pilates class. Now I hope you enjoyed that workout as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with a friend or family member, leave a comment below, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I post new workouts and videos every week. Thank you so much for coming and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.